Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the... It's November 15th through the 30th, so November 15th through the 30th. We're going to get a couple of these to start. Let's see what comes up. What do we have for Gemini, November 15th through the 30th? Heart. <clears throat> Interesting. Love, deep affection, and caring. So something about the heart. About love. Hat. You will be playing a different role. Forces working against you. An axe. So there's some sort of forces working against you. Uh, you will be playing a different role. Interesting. You will be taken care of, though, because of that love, that heart card. You will be taken care of. Um, you may be feeling ill. Maybe somebody's going to be taking care of you. Um, five of Cups. Now, Five of Cups is separation, sadness, uh, grieving, grieving over a loss of some sort. Now, um, emotional. Okay, you may be having some sort of emotional breakdown. Okay, this may be a time where your emotions are all over the place. All right. King of Swords. King of Swords is very logical. I wonder if you're going to be dealing with some challenges this week. Some challenges in your life. Um, that is the sword that cuts. It, it is. So there's some sort of uh, challenging information challenging news something like that that hurts something is because that's like grieving or, or you know crying you know maybe crying this week there could be some sort of I don't know if it's pain king of swords is very uh to the point sharp you know got two Ooh, King of Pentacles and Knight of Cups in the upright. So, you will be taken care of <coughs> because of this, this, maybe, I don't know if you're dealing with a earth sign or a water sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like there's somebody that is going to be uh, showing you affection, okay? They're going to be showing you affection. They're going to be... Uh, It feels like taking care of you, whatever that means. This is somebody that is looking for love, looking for romance. Uh, this is an offer, an opportunity, a, a big opportunity. Somebody may be taking an opportunity. They're making some sort of offer for you, offer to take care of you or something like that. Or you may be even getting invited somewhere. You may even be getting an offer that leads to uh, long-term stability in some way because of that King of Pentacles. I do feel like you're going to be um, communicating with somebody. Whoever you're communi communicating with is very real, okay? They're very real, but they're also very fluid, so it's pretty interested. interesting. Um, somebody's going to be acting on their feelings, and I feel like you're going to be getting a gift. And, and, and a gift could be time, okay? Um, somebody is, is going to be basically showing you their real feelings, taking care of you. Um, this is somebody that is very loyal. I think that you have somebody very loyal around you that is really going to be, I don't know if you're deepening a connection or what, um, but you're going to be, you're going to be dealing with somebody that is, uh, Very capable, very capable, very strong, hard, hard, hard worker, whoever this person is. Could be a business owner. Uh, somebody is going to be, uh, it feels like 
falling in love or being emotionally cared for, whatever, however that resonates with you, somebody is going to be taking care of you. If you are struggling financially, you may be even getting a gift from somebody. I don't know. It feels like there's a gift here. There's friendly conversation. Somebody's going to be, they're like being very, very nice. Um, I don't know. It looks, it looks so good so far. I, I feel like you're sad. And there's somebody here that is going to try to pick you up. They're going to try to help you to get over whatever this sad situation is. You may be feeling disgruntled or because this person looks kind of disgruntled. You know, you may be feeling uneasy about a situation or you may be feeling... This is like sharp. I don't know if this is pain because of five of cups. This is, I don't know what this is. There's, there's some sort of... Uh, sadness here and it it's, it's like it hurts it cuts okay so there's some sort of pain here but you get this king of pentacles and this knight of cups I feel like it's one person I do could be two but I feel like whoever this person is they are very interested in helping you they're very interested in um, I don't know showing you the way whatever that means um, This is somebody that is loyal, somebody that is solid, somebody that is stable, somebody that is a very hard worker that has um, a lot of life experience or has a lot of ability to, has a Midas touch, right? This person has a Midas touch. I, this, you got somebody here that is going to be offering you some tender loving care, okay? That's tender loving care, whatever it is. Um, being loved and cared for by somebody that is real. That's like real love, okay? Um, oh my God. Wow. Wow. So there is, there is definitely love here. There is love here. There's emotional support. Somebody is definitely going to be expressing their feelings. And they're real. They're feel I know I've already said that, but this is uh, the fairy feeling king. Somebody is, is uh, this is somebody that works hard. They're stable. They're solid. But they're also very loving, very gentle, very kind, very emotional. You may have multiple people. You may have a couple people that are trying to woo you uh, or take care of you or something like that. Because it looks like you have, looks like you have more than one. If you are a female watching this, you may, you may have multiple options. I'm just saying, I mean, we have three kings here and a knight. So we have multiple people here. And I think that uh, maybe you don't know it because this is an opportunity. It's like there's love all around you. And maybe you've been focusing on some sort of pain and you don't know that everybody loves you. So it feels like you're this week you're going to be feeling the love from people. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, But I do feel multiple people. Multiple people are going to be uh, expressing their concern or showering you with attention showering you with love because that is that's love um love deep affection and caring so maybe this is the week where you know uh you're playing a different role you've been in that caregiver role now somebody's taking care of you um <clears throat> interesting Six of Wands reverse. Now that's lack of progress. Um, fighting some sort of battle. You may be in some sort of situation where you are in the middle of something. You're not. It's not over yet. You haven't successfully successfully completed something. You're still in the middle of it. Um, This is unwelcome news of some sort. Unwelcome news. This is a setback. You may be dealing, you may have a setback. 
This is like a no, 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 no. Whatever that means, no. You can't keep focusing on something, no. Whatever that means. Um, now this is a card of teamwork, togetherness, working together. There's no togetherness. This is a no. Okay, there's no progress, no working together with somebody, a lack of respect, there's a need for respect, there's a need to work together, but there's somebody there that is resisting, resisting uh, working together, and maybe that's you, maybe maybe there's a team here, of th and I feel like there is at least three people, because I saw it with this card, and then I got these three kings, and then I, there's like three people, and I feel like you need to let these people in, you need to let these people help you, you need to let these people, you know guide you so i feel like this week you're going to be getting an opportunity you know so people are going to be wanting to work with you they may be you know needing your assistance or you need their assistance and you're going to need to let your guard down be open to a new perspective okay this is a team okay um working as a team I don't know if you're dealing with a professional because the king of swords can be a professional you could be dealing with a professional that has a team now this is a setback of some sort you may be even experiencing some regrets this week but I feel as though uh, if you can look at things from a new perspective and see that you have you know, an opportunity for support, you know, because there is an opportunity for support here, which is interesting. I think it's definitely going to be an emotional two weeks. I do see emotions. Absolutely. You may be trying to uh, keep it together, you know, to remain stable, to remain secure, but your emotions may be all over the place. Um, you may feel like you're not making progress. Mm. Page of Swords reversed. I mean upright. I don't know why I said reverse. Page of Swords. Now that's a conflict. Mild conflicts. You may be dealing with some mild conflicts this week. You may be distrustful. You may be fearful even with that Page of Swords. I feel like uh, you may be on the defensive, you know, you may be doing real research. Again, we have sharp, so there's some sort of sharpness about these two weeks. Um, there could be some sort of investigation going on. You may be investigating why something isn't progressing. Um, there's agitation, okay, agitation. But I do feel like there's, there's some sort of... Uh, it feels like there's somebody that has been watching you. They've been watching you and they've been waiting to communicate with you. They may not have been communicating because uh, maybe they were, this is an overinflated ego. Maybe this person had an ego or whatnot. They hadn't communicated with you. They may be communicating with you this week. And you have more, and I don't know who it is, okay? We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have... Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So I do feel like you are going to be on edge. I do feel like you're going to be on edge. I feel like you're going to be extremely emotional. I feel like you're going to be needing to make some sort of decision or choice in regards to who you're working with or something like that. Um, now that page of swords is a message that you don't want to hear or you're not expecting to hear. You may be receiving a message from somebody that you don't expect. Okay. Um, there could be some unexpected conflict. Okay. There could be. With somebody that you are working with because of that team it's unexpected conflict two of pentacles reverse trying to do too much you need to you need, this is lacking balance lack of organization overextending yourself biting off more than you can chew uh you know needing i feel like you need to uh relax Anyway, the two of pentacles reverse is trying to do too much. 
You, you're going to have to slow down, whatever that means, slow down. Um, allow people to listen. Try to listen to people. It feels like you you have to have a, a gain a new perspective, and it's hard. And maybe these people are trying to take care of you. You need to allow them to. Um, two of Pentacles reverse. That is upheaval, chaos. Um, trying to do too much. Which is bad news. That's bad news. This is unwelcome news. It's like you're gonna get some unwelcome news, or you may you may have an unexpected conflict or something like that because you're you're trying to do too much. So there's a need to, uh, I don't know. I want to say relax, whatever that means. Um, make sure you're being practical and realistic. Okay. Um, you may be focused on on your job, focused on your money, focused on your work. You know, and you need to. Well, this is fluid. This is this. You need to. You need to have some fun. Maybe I don't know. I do feel like and I have to just. I have to show you this. You got another king down here on the bottom. So if you are the male watching this, you are taking on the energy of all the kings, right? Basically, like the emperor. I feel like you are in control. If you are the male watching this, you are in control at this time, but you may be trying to do too much. And, you know, there's probably a team that wants your expert expertise, you know, and you may have the expertise. You may be the expert, but make sure you are open to their perspective and to learning. You know, can you be te taught? Are you teachable? Are you teachable? That's the question here. So I think that if you are the masculine male Gemini watching this, you need to follow your intuition. You need to work really, really hard. You need to be open to new possibilities. You need to communicate openly. Do not let fear get in the way. Do not fight, okay? Because that, that uh, Six of Wands reverse is very cocky, you know, very smug. Don't fight. Don't fight. And, and, and any other male, any male watching this, okay, there is a there is a masculine here that needs to not fight. Don't fight your ego, okay? Don't let your ego get in the way of something good, okay? Because there's an opportunity here that you would probably absolutely love, but you can't let your ego get in the way, way of it. So I feel like, so whether you're the Gemini masculine or the, you're the cross watcher or you're the woman feminine watching this and you're asking about your masculine we have a masculine here that is uh, needing a new perspective but but there is a um, smug cocky attitude here this person you know is very um you know does have an overinflated ego and tries to do too much so Anyway, I do see communication. There's going to be communicating communication with somebody that uh, I don't know. May you may have separated from in the past with that five of cups because that could be a separation, or there's been some sort of struggle with fat fives or struggles. Okay, there's still an opportunity for love here, and there's an, I feel like you're going to be hurt. You're going to hear about it. Whether if you are the masculine watching this, all these masculines are upright. The masculine is the one that takes action. Okay, this is a, this is taking action. You know, sees an opportunity, gets the vision, and takes action. So I do feel like that is going to happen. If you are if and I feel like you are if you are the masculine here, you have a lot to offer. You have a lot to offer, a lot. You're the whole package. I mean, this is absolutely the whole package, but you gotta believe it, okay? You need to you need to realize that there's other opportunities for love here. Okay, there is. There's an opportunity that you have been missing. Whether whoever the masculine is, the masculine has been missing an opportunity for love. Okay, and it's because of pride. It is because of pride and ego. Okay, but I feel like whoever this masculine is, is going to be communicating. They're interested. They've been watching and they may see that now uh, somebody needs them or something like that. I also feel like if you are the feminine watching this, you probably have multiple options. You have multiple people. Um, or it could be just one person taking on all of these energies, wanting to communicate with you, talk to you, calling you. Um, it 
expressing feelings. Somebody is definitely going to be expressing their feelings. Somebody maybe even, you know, this is like a peaceful, loving situation that is coming. It's definitely, and this is like sympathetic as well. You may be getting some sympathy from somebody. This person is typically very closed off, but I feel like they're going to be opening up. Um, yeah, so anyway... I do feel as though somebody is going to be taking action. They're going to be uh, making an entrance of some sort. It's going to be very heartfelt. There's going to be some heartfelt communication that comes through this person or this heartfelt uh, offer, whatever it is. Somebody is going to be expressing. They're going to be showing you. They're going to be showing you. And I think there's multiple people here as well. So if it's not one, it's several. It's several people showing their affection, showing their love. But I do see mild conflict, so beware of that. I feel like you may have to make a choice. Sometimes we have to make a choice between two or three people. So there could be a choice that is needed. Um, so yeah, good luck. 